Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, for today's video, I want to do something a little bit different than my normal content. As you can tell, I am here in my bedroom as opposed to in my recording studio. And by recording studio, of course, I just mean living room where my instruments are and my recording computer is. Um, today, we are in front of my Windows PC and I primarily use this for gaming, um, but I also use it for streaming. I stream a little bit. It's been a while since I've streamed, but my whole streaming and gaming setup is in here. Um, and that's why we're in here today. Today's gonna be a little bit of a treat, different style content. Um, today I am going to stream a totally normal copy of Super Mario 64. Um, has it been hacked or modified in any way? Just totally normal, no tricks, just a fun little day of playing some Mario 64. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy. Here it is. Mario. All right, so it has been a little while since I played this game, so I might be a little bit rusty, so uh, go easy on me. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is enjoyable content. So yeah, I guess let's just uh, jump into it and see how far we can go. Maybe I'll go for a... Uh... Oh, that's weird. Normally when you pick a new game, you get like a cutscene or something at the beginning, but that didn't seem to load. Also, the uh, sky looks a little bit darker than normal. Normally it's like a nice bright day... Nice cloudy sky, blue sky, uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Let's take a look. Also, uh, normally when you walk on this, Lakitu shows up and teaches you about the camera when you start a new file, but Lakitu doesn't seem to be here. So, huh, that's kind of weird. Something seems off about this. I mean, I have heard about personalized copies of Super Mario 64, but I don't know. It seems kind of weird. I wonder what's going on here. I guess let's, uh, let's just go in the castle and find out. Well, that's super weird. I don't really know of a level called Secret Place. I've never heard of that. It should just bring you into the castle. Also, subscribe to Dave Eddy. That's kind of it's kind of weird. I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe maybe someone could let me know in the comments what you think that means. Uh, it's, it's kind of a strange message to get. Um, but yeah, why not? Let's just I guess just check out the level and see what's up. Hmm. Alright, well this is not how I remember Bob on Battlefield at all. This is very strange. There seems to be a Goomba, a coin here. Hmm. The skybox seems a little messed up. It seems like an image just cut right down the middle there. Pfft, whoever did that must not know what they're doing. <laughs> I wonder who did that. Huh. The music is interesting too, because it, uh... I mean, the level was called, yeah, let's see, the level Secret Place, subscribe to Dave Eddy. And the song sounds a lot like a song I wrote called Secret Place. But I wrote that on piano, and this is uh, Mario 64, so it can't be the same thing. That'd be super weird, right? Um, but yeah, I guess let's just look around this level and see what there is. Uh, okay, a little ramp going up. There's something over here. Looks like text or something. I don't know, I can't really read it. Maybe if we get farther away. Okay, subscriber, thank you. Huh, that's super interesting. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, 2K subscriber, was that like 2,000 subscribers? Hold on, let me take a look. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I just checked my YouTube and uh, it turns out I actually have over 2,000 subscribers. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that a lot. I don't know how my copy of Super Mario 64 got personalized to reflect that. That's super weird. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. That, that means a lot to me. It's really cool. I love putting out fun little content, and I'm glad that over 2,000 people enjoy it. That's incredible. Uh, another little milestone on the channel a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a week or two ago, actually. I hit over a million views across all my videos, so... That's incredible. Like, you guys are nuts. Seriously, thank you. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, totally weird. This level is just called Secret Place, and I wrote a song called Secret Place. The star is called Subscribe to Dave Eddy, which is weird. And the text just says 2K subscriber, thank you. That's so crazy. Oh, there's a star over there. Think I can get it? And Mario falls to his death. Oh, nope, he collected the star. It's okay. It's gonna take him out of the level. No, it puts him right back in the level. Um, what if I die? Oh, it just takes you back into the level. Um, well, that's super weird. It turns out whoever made this hack probably didn't test it that well, because it shouldn't just take you back into the level. 
I'm not saying I made this or anything, but... Yeah, that's weird that you just get thrown back into the level. It should take you out of the level. I don't know what's going on with that, so that seems a little messed up. Well, this is fun. I guess Mario can just perpetually die. And... That's about it. So yeah, what a fun game. We collected the one star. Um, I think that's it. Looks like there's no thank you for playing message or anything. Looks like this is just it. So uh, yeah, I guess we beat the game. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. So yeah, as you can tell, um, that wasn't my proper copy of Super Mario 64. In fact, my proper copies of Super Mario 64 are here, the Japanese one, and here, the uh, English one. Um, what I have in there right now, you might be able to kind of see it, is uh, an EverDrive. So that's actually running um, an SD card, and on there I have a ROM, a custom ROM of Super Mario 64 that I made. Um, I use the SM64 decomp project, which is um, converting the original MIPS assembly code back into C. Um, and I'm comfortable with the C programming language, so I looked up how to make a custom level. I had to learn how to use Blender. <laughs> I had to use Fast64 to actually put like Super Mario 64 objects into Blender. I'll put that into Decomp, which is actually cool. It just writes the C code uh, into your Decomp folder. And then I can just recompile the um, ROM and test it that way. So I did a ton of testing in an emulator. And the last thing I did was take the ROM, put it onto a flashcard and test it on my N64. Um, the song also is my song, Secret Place. I ported it over to M64 format. That means I took the song, exported it from piano into an actual MIDI track, added some drums, did a whole bunch of stuff, and then I went through the whole process of converting that MIDI into a file that Nintendo 64, or Super Mario 64 specifically could understand. Huge shout out, huge shout out to the YouTube channel Pablo's Corner, I'll link them in the description. Um, they have videos going over this entire process. It's very confusing. It's like stupidly confusing. I originally had the song and then I used the SM64 sound font to see how it sounded. Then I'd export it as MIDI and do a bunch of changes to the MIDI to then convert it to M64 to then get it to play in Super Mario 64. Like, it's a lot more work than you think it would be and it's a lot more work than I originally expected. So, uh, I'm glad it all worked. But at the end of the day, I had a custom level with a custom star name and my own music playing in the background running on my childhood N64. So that was like a surreal experience. I've had this N64, I want to say I got it in 1998. And now it's actually live sequencing songs that I wrote on it. Like that's, it's unreal. When I first played it, I was just like, this is incredible. This is awesome. Um... So yeah, that was just my fun little way of saying thank you for subscribing. Like, seriously, it's awesome. I feel like just yesterday I hit 1,000 subscribers and now it's already 2,000. Like, that's insane. Um, I love making content like this. I love making the normal content I make, which is like music or remixes or stuff like that. But it's also fun just putting out fun little stuff like this. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. Like, seriously, it's awesome. Um, and I hope to put out more fun content like this. I'm going to publish an update video soon, like within the next couple of weeks, which will basically just talk about like all the stuff I've done in 2021, more stuff that I want to do, kind of giving channel updates. Um, but the really, really, really TLDR version of that, the shortened version of that, is that this Super Mario 64 song I'm going to release into the public. So the M64 file will be able to download it. If you're a ROM hacker, feel free to use the song. I'm going to make a video for that uh, next. Um, my new album, I'm it's almost done. Like almost, almost, almost done. I really look forward to releasing that. That should be within the next two to three months. Somewhere around that, maybe sooner, but somewhere around then I will have a new album available on all streaming platforms and stuff like this. I have a couple more remixes in the works, um, a couple new ideas for videos. So like a lot of stuff is happening. So seriously, if you subscribe, thank you so much. If you made this far and you're not subscribed, like <laughs> subscribe. Come on. Uh, no, but seriously, I appreciate it so much. Um, so yeah, that's it. See you guys.